Hi, Style Rebel. <laughs> Welcome to today's style session. So are you taking care of yourself? I hope that you are. I wanted to talk to you guys today about personal care, self-care, and personal style. So I'm curious, before we officially dive into this, I'm curious to know from you if you think that personal style and self-care belong together. So just say yes, personal care or no personal care. Um, if you don't, if you do, or if you don't see those actually working hands in hand. So if you don't, I hope that by the end of today's style session, I inspire you to think differently about this because <clears throat> here's the thing. It's not just my opinion. It's actually, there's been many studies, hundreds, thousands of studies done about this and how you carry yourself, how you dress yourself, how you put yourself together, even how long it takes you to do that does have an influence on how you feel, on your well-being, on your mental health, health, health on all of those different factors, all of those things that affect us as human beings. So I hope that you listen in with an open mind. Um, and I'd love to hear your suggestions or anything that you do or any input or any questions that you may have while I'm going through these seven different categories to how personal style can directly impact your self-care and also how you go about it okay so let's start with saying hello to each other if you are brand new to this page i'm so happy that you found me welcome my name is gina tassinelli i'm also the creator and founder of style rebel mama as an image consultant to female entrepreneurs and busy women on the go i know that's an understatement we are always on the go um, and I'm also a social media marketing strategist and the owner and founder of a social media marketing agency. And so I'm here to support you through all things made stylish, anything that has to do with fashion, anything that has to do with your personal style, but also with how to show up within your own business if you are a femalepreneur, if you do own your own business, your personal style has a lot to do with this. So um, I hope you enjoy today's session. And if there's something that you're like, oh my gosh, she's so right on, give me a hashtag sparkle. Don't be shy to sprinkle this in your news feed. Maybe you have girlfriends that really need some inspiration because I'll tell you what, I don't know about you, but especially over the last two weeks, I have been in some bad funk, okay? and it's been a challenging 12 months almost now, right? So um, how you use your personal style will really have a direct impact in how you move forward. And part of that is how you care for yourself, okay? So, um, and please do not be shy. I know there's a few of you watching, so I'd love to say hello. I'm on Live, so I may not see your, your comments right away, okay? Just so you know. Okay. All right. Um, let me open up some notes. If you guys have been following along for a while, you know that I do love to talk. This is like, especially since we're not really getting out much lately. Um, this is kind of an escape for me. So I am super appreciative that you guys are taking time out for yourselves to watch this as well. And again, if you're on the replay too, don't be shy. I always come back and I answer any questions and comments as well so um now let's first of all this you know the whole the term the topic self-care it's definitely grown over the last year or so right because we're home it's been really hard to prioritize ourselves as much with everything going on in this world with our own challenges personally professionally health wise but when you're able to really focus on your self-care. You're a better functioning person in this society, which we need so much more of. Would you agree? So I'm all about 
practicing self-care. It's not being selfish. It doesn't mean that you only care about yourself. But I will tell you this, when you practice self-care and you make this as a daily routine, it not only encourages, if you have children like myself, it shows them that hey, it's okay to take care of ourselves. Because when you take care of yourself, and you feel good, and you love on yourself, it makes it much easier to be to tolerant to love on others, even through all of the madness. Okay, so I want to talk to you about seven different categories of self care, and how they can directly relate to your personal style as well. Okay, so number one is your professional self care. And this is where you really balance your work life with your personal life. And that may be a little difficult to do nowadays, especially if you're working from home still. Um, I've been working from home for a little over 12 years. So now though, the difference is, is that I'm not home by myself. I have my kids home still. They're still doing virtual school. So how do we balance that, right? And so balancing that can be challenging. Um, so I will, I'm will. i going to share with you a trick that I started to do because what I did was I found myself working. I take some breaks, breaks in between during the day to help the kids with lunch, with homework, that sort of thing. Uh, technology issues with um, their virtual classes, right? But what I found was that even after dinner, I would get back on my laptop and I'd be working till midnight, sometimes one in the morning. So here's a little tip on how to better balance that out. Um, when you take care of your personal style and you get dressed while working from home, as if you're going to an office, maybe, you know, not the shoes and not completely done up, but you have a work outfit on, okay? That is work time. And so my family, when they're home, they know that if mommy is in her work clothes, and like what I'm wearing right now is work clothes, I'll be in this all day. They know that it's mommy's working right now. And the other thing that it does for you is that then when you change out of that clothes, it helps with switching that mode, turning off, okay, turning off work time. So how this relates to your personal style? Well, even working from home, when you're dressing the part, you are showing up, you're showing up in everyday life, just as if you were if you were going to an office. Um, and what it does mentally for you, how you carry yourself, your productivity, and the desires that you're going after, your creativity, it enhances all of that. So let me know down below, do you currently work from home? If so, what do you do? And do you put on a real outfit during work hours? I'm curious. And there are no wrong or right answers to this. Okay. So don't, you know, don't be shy. Don't feel like you're going to be called out on this at all. Um, I'm, I'm just giving you my suggestions and my guide, but I'd love to hear from you guys what you currently do. Also, when you're, when you're dressing the part during the day, the energy inspires you. So that outfit is going to inspire you. It's going to inspire you to make connections, to go live on this platform, to show up, to turn your camera on when you're on a conference call or a networking call. The second thing that it does for you is that it helps you feel like you're bossing up. Okay, so maybe you're getting ready to meet with a high profile client and it's happening virtually. If you're already dressed, you can't, you know, there's no reason to get out of it. So maybe it's a last minute call. Um, I have a last minute conference call in about 20 minutes. And thankfully I'm, I'm dressed, I'm ready to go. I am bossed up for my meeting. All right, the second category is emotional self care. So, how are you regulating your emotions right now? Or how have you been? 
when you're dressed in a way that makes you feel good, you have more control of yourself. You have more control of how you feel. You're calmer. You're clearer. You're in a happier space. Um, I was, I, I really think I had like a dark cloud following me around last week. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, if you noticed in my live from last week, but I had some puffy eyes. I have not been sleeping very well. Just watch way too much news. Okay. Now I will tell you this, the next days in the mornings, when I would get up, get dressed, put on some makeup, I felt so much better, so much clearer. I didn't feel like there was this black cloud hanging over me with all the sadness going around. So what it does for you internally is a huge, huge game changer. So how does self care help you with your personal style or how does your personal style help you with self care when you wear comforting clothes? Now I'm not saying comfortable clothes, but clothes that makes you feel like you, you're less anxious. You're less, you're less stressed when you wear clothes that brings you joy. Okay. So if you, um, if you've ever watched Marie Kondo and she asks you like, what sparks joy? That's part of that. Wear clothing that brings you joy. If what you're wearing is not making you feel good, take it off, girlfriend. Put on something that makes you feel good because it's going to make you feel powerful. Psychologically, that makes you feel happy. And again, it helps with your productivity. It helps with, you know, your patience with others. If you saw my yellow pants post the other day, yellow pants do it for me. Like they brighten up my day. They give me energy. I'm not wearing them right now, but I did have a little fizz stick from my friend, Elana, who sells Arbonne. Those things are amazing, by the way, um, to help me with that. Um, so, you know, take inventory of the colors that you're wearing. If you're wearing too much neutrals, maybe too many grays and blacks and, um, change it up, add some, add pops of color to your outfit. I, I did last or last week's style session was about pops of color and how to use different color combinations. So check that out. That might be helpful in, in incorporating more color into your wardrobe. Third category, physical self care. Okay. So of course, physical is what makes your body feel good. Being consistent with going out for a walk with going out for a run. Maybe it's doing yoga. Maybe it's doing kickboxing. Maybe it's um, just doing squats in your kitchen while you're cooking dinner. Um, but how does personal style help with your self care in regards to your physical care? Number one is how are you taking care of your birthday suit? So it's not just about working out and, you know, maybe you have goals of losing some weight or toning up, but those endorphins that when you do work out, when you're doing things that make your body feel good, those endorphins also help you mentally. And in addition to that, how are you taking care of your skin? What's your skincare routine? Um, you know, are you taking a bath? Maybe you, you love taking baths, but you haven't, you haven't lately. So make some time for that. Maybe it's a really hot shower. Maybe it's just applying lotion. Um, all of these things help us with how we feel about ourselves and how we show up. The second one is workout clothes. So be selective as to the workout clothes that you're going to wear. If you feel if you typically are staying in workout clothes all day long and you're not working out, then maybe you need to have your own set of wardrobe that's just for working out. That way, you know, when I put on that workout outfit, that that the intention of that out, that outfit is to get me to work out, to go for a walk, to go for a run. OK, fourth category, spiritual self-care now. I'm not specifically talking about religion because spirituality can mean a lot of different things, but it's really about how you're nurturing your soul, your inner being, right? So activities that you do are going to make you feel good. They're going to make you feel hopeful. And with your personal style, it does wonders with your spiritual self-care in a few different ways. Number one, when, when say you're, 
doing like a declutter of your closet, okay? You've got all this clothes that you've been keeping in there and you just realize, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do with all this clothes? I don't wear it. It doesn't align who, with who I am today. It doesn't um, show me how I want to be perceived. Donate your clothes. That does a lot to your spiritual well-being. When you know that you you can offer clothes that you've spent money on that are still in good condition, donate it to somebody in need. Drop it off at Women in Distress. Drop it off, um, you know, at where maybe you have a nonprofit organization that you love to support. Um, so that's a great way to use your personal style to benefit your spiritual self care. The other thing is purchase from brands that you support their values. So I have something special coming up um, inside of my freestyle group later on this afternoon. If you are not in there, you want to get in there because I will tell you, this is part of my spiritual self-care is I do love to work with brands that also incorporate the same values that I have. So I'm going to share a surprise with you all um, inside of the freestyle group later on today. So make sure to get in there. Just say the word group and I'll get you in there if you're not in there. But this is part of that. So you want to purchase from brands that you also support their values. Okay, I think we're on number five, right? The fifth category is social self-care. So how are you nurturing your relationships with others now that we've been, you know, kind of hiding for almost 12 months and maybe some of you are getting out a little bit more here and there um do you find yourself not wanting to because you don't feel like getting dressed you don't feel like showing up so when with your personal style when you do show up when you get out of your loungewear when you get out of that super super comfy clothes it's not inspiring you to be productive you want to show up you want to be more social and with your personal style you're able to maybe prep for a last minute minute brunch you know maybe it's been a long time since you've seen physically in person some friends and now you're getting out and about so get ready put on some fun clothes put on even you know a little um well it's it's chilly now but um when it's spring summer maybe it's a sundress maybe now it's just leggings and a long tunic and you're, you're belting it with a fun belt and you put on some fun accessories take the opportunity to be social and if you can get out safely and do it in a safe manner um you know put on something fun and be social hang out with your friends see a friend maybe it's just one or two um, do a style haul. Now is the great, the, a great time to do a style haul on our wardrobe. And because there are so many amazing sales going on right now. Now I'm not encouraging you to like go out and buy an entire new wardrobe. I would encourage you to do a closet declutter and then take inventory of what you have. And then maybe, you know, find some new pieces that you feel you're missing out of your, your wardrobe. But now is a great time to get ready for when things do completely open up, things get back to some sort of normalcy. Um, you're ready to show off your personal style. Okay, number six, practical self-care, which is in a sense kind of, um, I would also incorporate like spiritual self-care into this. I would incorporate um you know, even our physical self care into this. So what are the actions that you're taking on a pr more practical level to reduce your stress and anxiety? How your personal style relates to this is number one, I just mentioned it declutter your closet when you have less decision fatigue, when you're stepping into your closet, you will be less stressed. It's such a horrible way to start your morning off when you're trying to put on an outfit, trying to figure out what to wear, and you change your outfit once, twice, three, four more times. Do you do that? I used to change my outfit probably like three or four times. So I'd love to know. Give me your number of how many times you change your outfit if you tend to do that. Or how many minutes do you stand in front of your closet wondering, what am I going to wear? I have nothing to wear, but it's absolutely full of clothes, right? So de doing a declutter will help that. The last thing that we need to fill our 
lovely brains with is what to wear. Um, and I have an amazing closet cleanup checklist that I am happy to share with you. If you haven't grabbed that before, just say the word checklist and I'll send that to you via messenger um, that will help you guide you through doing a declutter, then organizing. Um, and there is a method to my organization. Um, it works amazingly. And um, and also it'll help you fill in some gaps where you notice that maybe maybe you don't have enough or maybe you don't have a long white sleeve blouse or maybe you have too much black and you need some more color. So things like that. So that checklist will definitely guide you through that. Uh, visit your local dry cleaner, your tailor. So take the time now to get things fixed. Maybe you've got like a pile of dry cleaning clothes or a pile of clothes that needs, you know, needs to, to, to be fixed, needs to be rehemmed or whatever the case may be. Now's the time to do it. And I'm, and that just for our own um, mental well-being, it does help with stress because you feel like you're productive. You've gotten something done when it comes to your personal style. And then the last, and I think one of the most important categories with self-care is your mental self-care. So what are you doing mentally to stimulate your mind, to increase your brain waves? Okay. There are so many shifts that we can do, whether it's reading a book, learning a new hobby. For me personally, we love to go to the beach. We'll go and watch the sunrise and we'll take our paddle board. Um, that's one of my favorite hobbies. Maybe it's doing a puzzle. Maybe it's listening to a new podcast. Now, what about your personal style with your self-care? So number one, having a cohesive closet, a cohesive wardrobe is so effective for this. So inside of that closet cleanup checklist, I share with you a way to organize. And the way that I share is to organize by color. Well, by, by clothing type and then by color within those types. And you want to create a style recipe for yourself. So, so I share many times my three-step style recipe, which is to grab a solid color top or a neutral color top. That's number one. Number two, grab a fashion layering piece, which could be a cardigan, a denim jacket, um, a duster, a kimono, something like that. And then number three, put on some jewelry. That's my, my style recipe. Pretty much I follow that every single day. Um, and when you have your closet organized by color, it's so much easier to actually make that style recipe work for you. And number two is repurpose your outfits. Maybe you want to do a expanded capsule wardrobe for yourself, which I did a live on this. Um, you'll have to probably go back, I would say a couple months or so, but the expanded capsule wardrobe works so efficiently and it really helps with that decision fatigue. So you basically mix and match pants, tops, fashion layering pieces, and you make an incredible amount of outfits. The one that I show you, you could probably make two months worth of outfits out of, I believe, like 12 pieces of clothing. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, but it's once you're able to repurpose your clothing, you also don't feel like you have to constantly be buying new clothing, right? Um, that's where you start to clutter to hoard your clothes and to have that decision fatigue again. So try to repurpose your clothing. One fun way to do it is by just switching up your accessories. I did a fun little contest um, on myself, not contest. It was more like a an experiment. And for an entire week, I wore the same outfit. This is when everything was open. So I was picking up the kids from school, walking up to the school to grab the kids um, and seeing the same people every single day for a week. And I wore the same outfit and just changed my jewelry. And no one knew that I had the same outfit on. So try that little experiment on yourself. I promise it works. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Feel free to reach out. If you feel like Gina, this is, this all sounds great, but all of this, I don't even know where to get, get started, especially with my closet. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to drop the word style and you and I are going to coordinate a 30 minute style 
consultation and I'm going to help you get started on this because it's not, it's not hard, but it's, it does help when you have a, another, another, um, a guide with you to help you. Um, and I'm happy to do that. So it's a complimentary 30 minute style call with me. So just say the word style and we will hop on a call. All right. Okay. Have a great rest of your week. I will be back on next Wednesday, 1230 PM Eastern time until then stay stylish, feel good, feel confident, feel empowered and love on yourself. Bye guys. Thank you.